श्रीमती बीवी सत्यवती जी थैंक यू चेयरपर्सन सर फॉर एलेविंग टू स्पीक ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जन विश्वास अमेंडमेंट ऑफ प्रोविजन बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑनरेबल चेयरपर्सन सर एज अवर ऑनरेबल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट हेज सेड आई एम ऑल्सो फॉर्चुनेट इनफ टू बी द मेंबर ऑफ जन विश्वास कमिटी and i want to bring a few points to the notice of this august house the bill aims to decriminalize approximately 182 provisions of 42 laws across 19 ministries in india offenses under certain acts will be replaced with monetary penalties reducing the emphasis on imprisonment fines and penalties provided under various provisions will be increased by 10% of the minimum amount every 3 years after the bill becomes law the bill specifies the appellate mechanisms for individuals aggrieved by the order passed by an adjudicating officer appeals may be filled with relevant authorities like the national green tribunal within specific time frames and from ysr congress party i stand here to support the bill and i want to bring to your kind notice some of the key concerns associated with the bill so replacing imprisonment with fines may not constitute true decriminalization and might be termed as quasi decriminalization as fines still carry an element of censure and stigma leading to functional differences the number of offenses deregulated by the bill is relatively small compared to the vast regulatory framework in india the bill might not address the broader issues of over criminalization in economic legislations the bill's impact on true deregulation is limited considering the vast number of imprisonment clauses in economic regulations and i want to bring to the notice of this august house some of the unintended consequences on the judicial system honorable chairperson sir decriminalization could inadvertently shift the burden of enforcement from the criminal justice system to administrative authorities leading to potential inconsistencies in decision making and enforcement practices administrative authorities lack expertise and resources compared to the criminal justice system and interpretation and application of regulation varies among different administrative bodies so thus inconsistent enforcement would create a perception of unfairness resource allocation and conclude within, madam yes within uh, administrative authorities will be affected honorable chairperson sir prioritization of cases might be influenced by factors other than severity so before i conclude honorable chairperson sir balancing economic growth and social justice while promoting ease of doing business is essential it should not overshadow the importance of protecting public welfare social justice and environmental concerns so the bill's impact on enhancing the ease of living and doing business will largely depend on its effective implementation and ongoing stakeholder engagement so i would request the honorable minister to address the issues raised by the party of ysr congress party under the leadership of our dynamic leader sri ys jagan mohan reddy garu and take our suggestions into account and with this i support the bill thank you very much sri maluk nagar ji sir bahut bahut dhanyawad bahut bahut dhanyawad aapne bolne ka mauka diya aur jo 